Aloha, this is Asia Iyer and I'm with Maui Kona Network. And what happened this week in the Maui County government? Well, the new county council was sworn in on January 2nd, 2023, but unfortunately it is off to a slow start. The committees and the committee chairs are normally selected shortly after everyone is sworn in. However, to date, all of that is undetermined. This leaves council members and their staff unable to focus on important community issues and the community needs. And it becomes more and more difficult to adhere to the timelines that they have for submitting budgets and for analysis and approval. So why did this happen? Why haven't they been able to get started? Well, the main reason is, is that Alice Lee, uh, although she was elected, has not been sworn in and she was the previous chairperson. So she submitted recommendations in resolution 23-4 and you can find the link to that uh, uh, below this video. And that would rearrange committees and appoint committee chairs and also change the process of meeting procedures that po could potentially limit public testimony. Well, so this resolution was presented uh, all without council input and it was deferred because the delay in, in even talking about this stems from Alice Lee not being able to be seated. So that's because uh, her seat, the Wailuku and Waihu and other um, county areas in, in that part of the island, she sits in that seat, but there is a case uh, in contesting that seat, that ninth seat, whether it should be occupied by Alice Lee or her a competitor in the election, Noalani Ahia. So this is a contested case and it's being held to address discrepancies in the election process. So you can get specifics on the case um, at the Maui Now uh, article that's linked below. This contested case will be heard in the state Supreme Court in Honolulu at 2 p.m. on January 19th, and oral arguments will be presented. There is a possibility that litigation would proceed for up to three months, and so she could potentially not be seated for at three months at this point. Um, it could also involve a special election for that Wailuku County Council seat. So in the meantime, it is important that our County Council continue the great work that has been accomplished to the past committee chairs of the planning, finance, affordable housing, agriculture, and water. What we are recommending in Maui Pono Network and uh, many people in the community have recommended that they go back to the committee chairs that they had during the previous county council and allow those committee chairs to continue their great work to prepare for the challenges ahead and to be able to stay on task so that they can get all of the tasks done that they need to do before budget comes, which is uh, March, April, May, and June. So we hope that the county council will be able to make the right choice here and moving forward. There's a number of new um, council uh, members, uh, it's kind of everything's up in the air. So it's both scary to watch this, but it's also kind of exciting to see where the leadership is going to come forth and, um, you know, tune in for the next county council meeting. It's scheduled for January 26th. We'll, pat, uh, we'll provide an agenda when it becomes available here. You can also go to the county government website and you can find the agendas there.